Hi everyone, my name is Darsh Kathani and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use XN Spy to monitor Skype. Now in specific call logs, messages, and contacts, and this is specifically useful for all those parents who are worried that their children are not using Skype properly and are using it for inappropriate situations. So without any further ado, let's get right into this tutorial. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is go to your internet browser and type in cp.xnspy into the URL tab. Now on the preceding screen, you can see your XN Spy login credentials and you just want to sign in. Now that you've signed in, we're on the control panel page for XN Spy, and to access your Skype logs, all you have to do is click the messenger tab on the left hand side and then click Skype from the drop down menu. So this is the page where all the Skype chats, call logs, and contacts from the monitor devices are uploaded. What you're looking at right now is a list view for messages, and you can only see the last sent or received Skype messages. But if you click on a specific contact, you can view the entire conversation thread between the contact and the target person. If you want to access Skype call logs, click on the calls tab. On the Skype call logs page where you've entered right now, you can see all call logs of the incoming, outgoing, and missed calls, along with the contact time, date, and duration stamps. If you want to view Skype contacts, click on the contacts tab. Each Skype contact comes with a Skype ID as well. You can also switch between the list and conversation view as per your convenience. It's on the red button on the top right hand side corner. Now, to monitor Skype on an Android device using XNSpy, you have to make sure that the target device is rooted. And if you're using XNSpy iCloud version to monitor Skype and you're suspecting that XNSpy may have missed uploading a few Skype logs, it could be due to those Skype logs being deleted prior to an iCloud backup. Alright everyone, that's about the end of this tutorial. I really do hope that you guys took something from it. If you have any questions or curious, please make sure to drop them down in the comment section down below and we'll have someone get back to you as soon as possible. With that said, thank you all so much for watching once again and I'll see you in the next tutorial.